Say, why do you pull a fiber on the ground through the box so you can use this in the air, controlling your fiber all the way? There's different ones you're getting. Like, there's another one. This one I don't like. Why I'm bringing different sizes and types? Just to show you guys what it's all about. That specific one also, very nice. That's what you're seeing there on the board. We're going to do a calculation quickly. I want to see if you guys can work out for me what size pulley we're going to use on that specific corner to avoid damage on that fiber. So we're going to talk about this specific one now. So what will bend radius be? 180. So for that fiber can... You remember we did a bend radius? There's two scenarios you're getting in bend radius. If that's a pulley, so you got a 144 fiber, say 60 millimeters. They talk of a 20 times pull force, and they're talking of a 12 or 10 times no pull force. So that means your bend radius on, on the pull force will be that value times that. And the no pull force will be that value times that. So what we need to work out, this is a 100 millimeter pulley. What you're seeing there. So you need to pull fiber all around this pulley. Do you think this pulley will be sufficient for that fiber to be pulled around? Take that value what you're seeing there. First thing you need to know, you need to work out your bend radius, your, your, your thickness of your fiber. The guys who don't know what that is, that's what they call a... OD. A vineyard. Oh, they okay, know. People will ask me, well, why do you need a tool like this? This is a tool you need to have on site. And we'll work on it tomorrow, exactly to show you how it works. Because you can measure inside diameter, outside diameter, and also depth on pipes. So first thing that you see when I work now, there is your thickness of your fiber. In this case, you're going to work on a 16 millimeter. In that case, you're working on 11 millimeters. So 11 moles, you'll times with 20. In this case, you'll have a 16 millimeters times 20. That will give you a value of 320 millimeters. Guys, a minute. What's the meaning of that? Meaning from that point to there will be 320 millimeters. If you want to do a full circle, what will the value be there? Twice. Twice. 320 millimeters. Oh. That's your pi square we talked about. Mm -hmm. So is that 100 millimeter pulley sufficient? No. Not okay. at all. What size pulley do you need? Bigger. You need a 640 mm. millimeter pulley to avoid this cable from getting under tension load and also bed radius damage. You guys with me? Mm -hmm. twice, twice. So this is this is where a lot of companies are failing on damages on networks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's because they're using not the right size pulley. So you need to work it out. So in that case, we worked on a 11 moles. So if you take the 11 millimeters, too much pockets, too much stuff. <laughs> but it's in my hand. Yeah. Blunt. So in that case, it will be 11 times 20 gives you 220 moles. Yeah. So your pulley size will be 440 moles in that specific fiber. It will have a 440 millimeter diameter. What will it be if, it's, if you're going to do slack management? This is your slack box now. You're going to do slack inside this box now. What will your size be in this? It must be the same. No, it will not be. It will be, depend on your data sheet, 12 times or 10 times. So that will be 16. Say example times 10 gives you a value of 160. So that value will be 160, 160. Total inside measurement of 320 millimeters. So just by measuring your snack box, also a planning function, yeah. you need to make sure you order the right box. Because if you order the wrong box for a size 5, you're going to slip up. Mm. And this can become a massive maintenance. So if this box is not sufficient for that specific size, then this box is not going to fit. So you need to make sure your fiber is going to fit inside. Now, how does a coil work when you roll fiber? 
That's 320 moles now, but we worked out now. But is that cable 320 moles? It will be no. extra 100 plus 100 because your coil you're leaving is 6, ach, 30 meters of slack. So you're going to add 100 moles, 100 millimeters, meaning your slack box needs to be a minimum of 600 moles. To do slack management. Correct way. This changes everything.